everyone. And today's reflection is about those lists that show up about those, the best wheelchairs ever. <laughs> I kind of chuckle because there are so many different types of wheelchairs and the best one is the one that fits your needs. <laughs> Not the one that the nurse stated that it was the best or the therapist. That's not the best wheelchair. The best wheelchair is the one that is practical, that works for you, for your home, for your school, for all the different environments you're going to be in. And that just depends on what kind of wheelchair you really need. And, you know, there are wheelchairs that are mid-wheel, there are wheelchairs, there are manual wheelchairs, there are front wheel wheelchairs, there are, I could sit here forever, there are complex power wheelchairs. <laughs> so those lists that show up like, this is the best wheelchair of 2025, for somebody it might be, for somebody it might be, but not for you. You know, you might have a health condition that would require um, a certain type of wheelchair or certain types of connections on your manual wheelchair or your power wheelchair to be able to work for you. So I just want people to be careful with the list that show up in terms of this is the best wheelchair <laughs> of 2025. <laughs> <laughs> and it might be a good wheelchair for its class. Um, might be a good wheelchair because it's new. Um, it might be a good wheelchair because it has some, you know, some special mechanism in it. But, you know, you might need something different. And the only person who could really tell you is, is, you know, the person who's going to evaluate you. Because for a wheelchair, you need to keep a few things in mind. Some people use uh, wheelchairs part-time. Some people have to use them uh, full-time, and that's difficult. Uh, some people use them, you know, almost full-time, uh, like myself. And, and I try to use, you know, my manual wheelchair very part-time. but I keep uh, trying to keep myself going. But what is the, you know, can I jump in and just grab a wheelchair that's on this best wheelchairs of 2025? Well, no. <laughs> I do have special needs, so, you know, the therapist has to call a company and have them come in and talk to me about, you know, a wheelchair that would fit my needs. You know, when I went to the Abilities Expo, down in Schaumburg, Illinois, you know, I talked to a salesperson, and he's not an evaluator, but a salesperson, and he pulled out a wheelchair. He said, test it, and it was, it was a great wheelchair. <laughs> However, they would have to change the, the footrest for me to the ones that, that open up. So, you know, it's a very good wheelchair. However, we need to make some adaptations to that particular chair. And he said that's that's what is good about that power wheelchair that it could uh, they could switch out the um, footrest for me. So I want people to be aware of that. I want people to be careful not to jump in and say, "Ah, oh, I need to get that one. That one's on that 2025 list." <laughs> you don't know, and you don't know if the insurance covers it. How much is the warranty? Because <coughs> the one they were pointing out that was very, very good had very, very little warranty. And that's pretty sad because then they can't guarantee, you know, the, the parts of, of the wheelchair. You know, the ones that are really, really good <coughs> and are in the market already and uh, are approved by Medicare and other private insurance companies you know, those are the ones that have, you know, their hardware guaranteed for five years and other smaller parts for, for 18 months. So those are the wheelchairs that you, you, you're going to feel a little bit more secure with. 
and I jump in and, and just pick one that's on the 2025 <laughs> list. <laughs> so I want you to be aware of that. You know, you, you have to consider warranty. You have to consider how long it's been in the market. You have to consider how new it is because sometimes new wheelchairs that are coming out still have quirks in them, still have problems with them that need to be adjusted. If you're willing to test that wheelchair to see how well it works, well, then that's up to you. But, and does that wheelchair work for you? You know, so it's a lot of things. You know, and these wheelchairs that you get that are covered by insurance, covered by Medicare, you know, those wheelchairs have a history behind them. And, you know, if there's something that doesn't quite fit or is uncomfortable, you can change it. You can change the part, you can change the wheelchair. So you have some backing and some security that that wheelchair is going to fit in a way that the sales you know, or the company can make some adjustments for you versus a wheelchair that is of lesser value, hasn't been on the market for long, and, and nobody knows its history. It doesn't have a history. So you really want to work with a wheelchair that has a history that's made for you. It might need, you know, a different cushion, different parts. Um, so, so those are the things you want to keep in mind, and and just be careful jumping into the market, um, and make sure you're evaluated by a good uh, evaluator, a good therapist that has your interest in mind, that has your you know, your health in mind so that the wheelchair you come out with is the best for you. You know, I have a wheelchair. It's my first wheelchair. It's, it's worked for the most part. <coughs> and my therapist and I, we talked about the things I struggled with with, with this wheelchair. And what we want to do next time <coughs> when we update this wheelchair, you know, those things we want to keep in mind so we, we do something different so that the wheelchair fits a little bit better for me. So uh, that's what I wanted to say and, and think about, you know, in terms of wheelchairs, manual wheelchairs and power wheelchairs, you know, and, and what's covered, what's not covered. Um, if you have to save up money, <coughs> which might take you a long time, uh, depending on the cost of the wheelchair, but you wanna make sure that that's the one, you know. You know, you might be in a different country and, you know, a wheelchair from the United States is not going to work for you because there's no parts, uh, because it doesn't fit the terrain. Um, and I've, I've said this in other videos, you know, uh, a wheelchair from Germany might not be a good wheelchair for Australia because of the heat and the dust and everything else that wheelchair might break down and then it's very hard to get parts. So a wheelchair for Tanzania might not be a very good wheelchair from the United States. You have to get a wheelchair that really, really fits within the terrain, the weather, the the housing situation. So in, in a place where you can easily get parts, like wheels, <coughs> hopefully your wheelchair, if it's a manual, that they are uh, wheels for bikes. So you can go to a bike shop and get new wheels for your wheelchair. And that's much easier. And get one that, you know, that fits your terrain where you live. Um, a power wheelchair, you know, something that's made there that really um, can, can weather, you know, through the heat and the dust or the rain or the, you know, and then if it breaks or something goes wrong, that you can get those parts right there in your country, in your town, and y you're not fearful of, oh my gosh, it just broke and there's no parts. So, so do, you, do you see what I'm saying? You know, every country is different. The circumstances, the terrain, the housing, it, it's all different. And you have to consider, you know, do you live in an apartment? Do you live in a house? 
uh, is there a ramp? There's no ramp. You have to plan for that. Um, you know, can that wheelchair do a ramp? And, and what, what steepness can it do? What steepness can it do? Um, my wheelchair, I think, can go seven, six or seven. And I've had to do ten. <laughs> and this wheelchair just kind of goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> but it hasn't fallen apart on me. <laughs> hasn't thrown me out. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, now I know. You know, and and sometimes it's it's about experience. Also, you know, when you're getting your first wheelchair, you don't know everything. The therapist doesn't know everything. What you're going to encounter. So you do. You choose the best the best wheelchair you can. And and then as you as you learn and as you run into situations, then then you know, okay, for the next time, or maybe we can switch out, you know, this in the first ninety days it's really important to kind of look at things that are working, things that are not working, and then, you know, then you can say to the therapist, you know, this is not working or this is hurting or, you know, I'm just having trouble in, in home with this. So you have to evaluate the chair yourself as well. So, so be careful with those lists that say the best wheelchairs of 2025. <laughs> I just have fun with those lists, especially if they're new wheelchairs and they haven't been tested out in the real world and don't have very well, uh, very good guarantee. Um, so... <laughs> So I just wanted to put out that video because I just ran across a, a best wheelchairs for 2024 and I, I kind of chuckle and I looked at the wheelchairs and, and their warranty wasn't good at all. And I had never seen those wheelchairs on the market before so there might be newer wheelchairs or cheaper wheelchairs so people can buy them on their own. I don't know. But Seriously. So, you know, the when you go to a therapist, they're going to ask you, okay, in your home, I need to know, you know, before you get to that moment, which they bring you a wheelchair to kind of look at or two wheelchairs, you need to know how wide your doors are, you know, <coughs> furniture-wise, can you get through? Um, are you going to have access to a company that will help you with a ramp? Um, you know, that, that needs to be included and talked about, um, you know, has, your weight needs to be considered, your condition, your pain, um, how long you're going to be in the wheelchair. Uh, so it's, it's, it's quite a few things, you know, how high is your bed? I had difficulties with my bed because it was just a little bit higher than, uh, than my wheelchair, so it was hard for me to get in. <laughs> I would just have to kind of plop in. <laughs> getting out wasn't too much, you know, of a hassle, but getting in was, I'd have to do a, oh. <laughs> I looked like an octopus <laughs> trying to get in my bed. <laughs> but now I have a medical bed, and, it, you know, it's right at the height of my chair, and I can get in just fine and get out just fine. So... <laughs> So it's it's some of that and all of that. <coughs> Getting a wheelchair, power wheelchair, a manual wheelchair is more complicated than people think. And I want people to to really consider their health, their needs, and kind of try to avoid those lists of best wheelchairs um, because it really uh, uh, impacts the patient and doesn't really work for the patient. Uh, because a lot of things need to be considered when you're when you're looking at a new a new wheelchair, especially for the first time. So I just wanted to put that out there. And if if you want to put in your words of wisdom, uh, please do. All right, folks. The invitation also is to look at one of the videos that are up there and see if that's helpful for you as well. 
and stay tuned for other videos that might be practical that might give you some reminders of um, how or where or with who, you know, in terms of your, your wheelchair or your disability. All right. I hope to see you in the next video. And let's get this information out so that it will help people with disabilities and um, that, you know, you can't take your therapist home. So <laughs> let's put some information out here so that people uh, can find the support they need. All right. Take care. Bye.